Welcome to the EKG Guy if this is your first time. I'm so glad you're joining us and welcome back if you're returning. So what we're doing here is we're going to do two things. One is look at the cardiac anatomy and two, look at the conduction system of the heart. Okay, two vital things that you should be aware of. Okay, so firstly, when we look at the cardiac anatomy, we have to know where the heart sits. So the heart here is sitting in the center of the chest. Okay, notice that it's sitting in the middle of the chest and is directed slightly downward. Okay, so downward, also towards the left, and actually somewhat anterior. Okay, so the heart direction, think of it as down, anterior, and leftward. Okay. So apologize for my writing. All right, and there's four main chambers of the heart that you should be aware of, okay? There's the right atrium, which is this one here. There's the left atrium, this portion here, the right ventricle here, and then we have the left ventricle, this one, okay? So notice that you have two atria, a left and right atrium, as well as a right and left ventricle, okay? And how blood circulates through these, it's you have a closed system, okay? And blood circulating throughout the, uh, the vasculature and through the heart, okay? So each atrium empties into the ventricle. So the right atrium empties into the right ventricle and the left atrium into the left ventricle, okay? And how blood flows is you essentially have blood in the right atrium coming to the right ventricle. And then from the right ventricle, this is not anatomically correct, but you can imagine the blood from the right ventricle goes out of the pulmonary artery, okay? And from there goes to the lungs. And from the lungs, it gets oxygenated and then comes back to the left side of the heart through the pulmonary veins, okay? So PV. So pulmonary veins into the left atrium, and after that, it's now oxygenated blood here, okay? And from the left atrium to the left ventricle, and from the left ventricle, it goes out the aorta to the body, okay? And the body, the muscle takes that up, the oxygen, and eventually comes back to the right side of the heart through the IVC, the inferior vena cava, and here, the superior vena cava, okay? And again, you have the system that continues to uh, flow through. Now, a few main things. Arteries, okay, so if you think of arteries, think of them as taking blood away from the heart, A and A, okay, and veins, taking blood towards the heart, okay? So we saw our pulmonary veins bringing blood back towards the heart, okay? So that's the basic anatomy of the heart. Another thing that you should notice, let me just erase some of this here so it's cleared up, is that we said that there's four chambers and one of those chambers was the right ventricle, okay? And why I wanna point that one out is because the right ventricle is the most anterior chamber of the heart, okay? So here is the right ventricle, okay? And this is the most anterior chamber, meaning it sits most anteriorly on the heart. So if I erase this here, this portion here is actually the right ventricle, the most anterior portion of the heart, okay? And that's why we'll look at certain leads in upcoming lectures that tend to cover that position, okay? So that's the basic anatomy. Now I do want to cover the conduction system of the heart, okay? I think you can also learn this here, okay? And so we've already started. We first said that there's the right atrium, we have the left atrium, right ventricle and left ventricle, okay? And now we have also our uh, conduction system. So that was the anatomy. Now there's also anatomy of the conduction system. This is where we tend to start up here. And this is what we call the sinus node, also referred to the sinal atrial or SA node, okay? Both meaning the same thing. And from the sinus node or sinal atrial node, you have internodal pathways. These pathways here, okay, that come and come to the AV node. This is what we call the atrial ventricular node or AV node, okay? So coming to this position here. So we have the sinus node followed by the AV node. And from these internodal pathways, you also have one that comes over here to the left side and depolarizes the left atrium, which we call the Bachmann bundle, okay? So the Bachmann bundle, okay? So that's another one to note. So the Bachmann bundle depolarizing the intraatrial septum in the left atrium, okay? So imagine you have conduction starting here, the impulse generates and it depolarizes through the conduction system, through the atria, okay, to the AV node. So from the sinus node to the AV node, and then from the AV node, we have conduction that comes down 
through here, which we call the his bundle, okay, or the bundle of his. So this area here, you can see is the bundle of his, okay? And then from the bundle of his, we have some branches. We have the left bundle branch on the left side of the heart. Remember, this is the left ventricle and the right ventricle. On the left side of the heart, you have what we call the left bundle branch, okay? So imagine here you have your left bundle branch, and then on the right side, you have this right bundle branch, okay? that depolarizes the right ventricle. Now the left bundle branch is made up and subdivided into two fascicles, okay? We have two fascicles and one's called the left anterior fascicle and one is called the left posterior fascicle, okay? We can call this one the left anterior fascicle and then this branch here the left posterior fascicle. Okay, and then from there, you have these fascicles and the right bundle branch that then go to Purkinje fibers and then to the individual cells or the cardiomyocytes, the heart muscle cells. Okay, so that's pretty much how it works. All right, so the main thing here is this electrical conduction system is made up of these specialized cells, and some of the cells in the heart actually have pacemaking function, meaning they can generate an impulse, and others allow the pretty much the impulse to transmit okay they allow for transmission of the impulse through the rest of the uh the cardiac system the main function of this cardiac system is really to create an electrical impulse as we've mentioned and to transmit it in an organized fashion through the rest of the myocardium okay in this electrical chemical process it generates electrical energy that is captured by the electrodes when we perform perform an ekg okay so hopefully that makes sense so Hopefully this does not sound too introductory, and if it does, that's okay. It's critical to have a strong foundation of these basic anatomical features of the heart and the electrical conduction system. So if this was just an introductory or a review, that's great, okay? Because we know that damage to any area in this conduction system can be detected on the EKG, okay? So really having that basic understanding is great and is gonna be essential as we move forward. So let's just review everything, okay? Let's review both the anatomy as well as the conduction system before we end here, just to recap. So remember, we said that the heart sits there in the center of the chest, okay? We saw it here in the center of the chest, directed downward, leftward, and anteriorly, okay? So three main directions. The impulse generally heads in this direction, okay? As you can imagine, the sinus node sitting up here is our beginning of our conduction system. We have these internodal pathways that come to the AV node, and we have that Bachmann bundle that goes to the left side, okay, the atrium. From the AV node, we have what we call the his bundle, okay, or bundle of his, either one you may see it as. And then from there, we start to get to depolarizing the ventricles, okay? We call this the his Purkinje system. So the his and the Purkinje. And that includes the his, and then you have the Branch, the bundle branches, the left one that depolarizes the left ventricle and the right bundle branch that depolarizes the right ventricle. Remember, this is the right ventricle and the left ventricle. The left bundle branch then subdivides into a left anterior fascicle and a left posterior fascicle, okay? The left anterior fascicle actually supplies the anterior and superior portions of the left ventricle and the left posterior fascicle uh, innervates the posterior and inferior portions of the left ventricle. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And from that, you have these fascicles and the right bundle branch that then go to the Purkinje fibers and then to the individual cells, the cardiomyocytes. And that's how we have this conduction system flowing, okay? And one thing I want you to note about this conduction system is you should think of it as the highway system of the, the heart, okay, of the conduction impulses, meaning this is the fastest route in which an impulse travels. Any uh, conduction outside of it tends to be slow. So when we look at a rhythm such as ventricular tachycardia that originates from outside of this, we tend tend to have slow cell-to-cell -cell depolarization, and we can see that on the EKG, okay? So think of this as the highway system of the heart, all right? So maybe we should just write out the conduction system so you have it uh, in mind, okay? I know a lot of this here is going to be pictures because I think that's a great way to learn. Uh, we also have our course that's much more detailed in notes, okay? So let's just review this. So we have our sinus node, okay? And then from our sinus node, we have those internodal pathways. 
We also mentioned the Bachmann bundle depolarizing the atria. Okay, and then from there we go to the AV node, and then we have the His bundle. Okay, and then from the His bundle we have kind of a subdivision. We have the left bundle branch, and we have the right bundle branch. Okay, and then from the left bundle branch you have the left anterior fascicle and the left posterior fascicle. Okay, and then both of these then come back to the Purkinje fibers. They innervate Purkinje fibers in their adjacent uh, ventricles, and then from that to the individual cells, the cardiomyocytes that we mentioned. Okay, so make sure you review that and get that down. Okay, and just remember our so that's the actual electrical system. Remember our anatomy, we'll review that quickly here. We said we have blood going from the right atrium to the right ventricle, okay, to the pulmonary artery, to the lungs to get oxygenated, and then to the pulmonary veins, and now to the left side of the heart, left atrium, which was here, and then we have our left ventricle, okay? From the left ventricle, you have your aorta. It goes to the body, where your muscle cells take up the oxygenated blood, and then it returns to the right side of the heart through the inferior vena cava or superior vena cava, and then your right atrium, and that starts back over again, okay? So I just laid that out if you wanna have those. Those are the key main things. Knowing the anatomical circulation of blood circulation through the heart, through the body, as well as the electrical, okay? The main one will be the electrical that, because that will dictate. But I really want you to understand anatomy. Anatomy plays a huge role in how we assess the EKG and can really help you when we start to localize different features such as ischemia on the EKG. Okay, well, that's the end of this lecture. We discussed the basic anatomy of the heart as well as its conduction system. I hope you learned something. So I'm so excited to share with you guys this new course that we made available, okay? This is the comprehensive course that we use now for training our technicians here at Mayo Clinic as well as uh, for those that are trying to use and build a foundation, okay? It's the most comprehensive course I've seen out there, and this is something now we're offering to you. Okay, so what does this course include? Well, this is a full color, 175 page book. Okay, you can see that here. There's two formats actually. Here's one and here's that. One is the full size and this is the pocket version. You also get online videos. So as you can see here, there's a whole uh, consortium of videos that is continuously updated and added to. We have some lessons. So this is kind of what the uh, lessons look like. Here's atrial fibrillation as an example. And what happens is within this book, so every page in the book, so imagine you open to page 57 and that's atrial fibrillation. Well, you have a corresponding video and lesson with that. Okay. And not only do you have that, then you have questions that corresponding to it. There's over 750 practice questions that go with every single topic and lecture and page in the book. Okay. You also get clinical cases where we approach EKG. So if you're actually handed an EKG, how do you approach it? Okay. And how does it work in the clinical context? And that is discussed there as well. Okay. So that's always new cases that we're adding and uh, you'll get as well. There's also an ECG coding reference guide that we've put together. Okay. So how we code EKGs is based on uh, different codes. And I discussed how uh, you have actually a reference guide, which is this one here that we've put together. And then there's also corresponding videos with that as well, okay? And there's also calipers, so you can see here that go along with that. So you can get all of this here. And how you get to that is go to the www.ekg.md, click on the course here, okay? And then from there, you can check it out. You can see more of the contents there. You can look at one of our uh, videos as a sample and what's actually involved and what they look like so you can get a good understanding. Um, I'm giving you also 25% off. I'm not sure how long that will last, but you can use that to uh, on checkout as well, okay? Now, if you want more practice questions and you wanna join our community, if you can find us on Facebook, just simply search The EKG Guy, okay? There's over 750,000 of us there that are always trying to learn and grow from each other. So check that out. Uh, we'd love for you to be a part of the community and just grow together and learn with us as we do so. Okay. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful day.